Hey guys, today's video is a product review of the ERA RF1 trucks. These trucks really are some of the most unique feeling on the market. They're really playful underfoot and it's an absolute joy to skate them. Carving from point A to B is so fun and honestly these are the best carving trucks that I've ever tried. They are so good. And it may be hard to believe but these trucks are really awesome for also holding out big stand-up slides. They have this very strong inherent center point and it's just nice to really just sit on that center point and glide along as you slide. For how much and how deep they turn, it's really surprising that they have any center at all. Of course, that center also translates to a little bit of stability, but not that much. However, because these trucks turn super deeply, even with that center, they end up not being that stable overall. So if a normal reverse kingpin truck was to turn at a factor of 1, these turn and lean at a factor of 1.5. I really hope that makes sense, but it feels like they turn deeper than other reverse kingpin trucks. And what this translates to is a very playful feel and a lot of fun when you're carving but it also means that they tend to react quite a bit to road imperfections and aren't forgiving at all at speed so what happens in most trucks is when you go over a road imperfection the hanger reacts to the road imperfection then quickly returns back to center but because these turn deeper the hanger reacts a little bit deeper and that translates to what feels like really violent or sudden twitches and also when you're skating really really fast on these trucks they start to do this weird oscillation thing it's not quite a wobble it's not quite a twitch but it's just really weird and it's not very confidence inspiring so this deep turning nature of theirs is a double-edged sword it's incredibly nice incredibly playful really awesome but at speed it can turn against you I wouldn't really take these trucks over 40 miles per hour or make them my trucks for going really really fast. However, you can control how they lean and how deep they turn with bushing. When it comes to bushings though, it feels like these trucks turn regular bushings into mush. For example, Venom HPF barrels don't lean very smoothly and gradually in these trucks. The lean is a lot more sudden. What you need in these trucks and what works best is either more voluminous bushings on the board side or slightly higher rebound bushings, for example the hardcore barrels. Slightly higher rebound bushings will give you a smoother lean, more gradual lean and overall more control. As I did say, you can use a more voluminous bushing on the bottom for stability. Some people like to use a barricade or a fat cone. However, I don't like to do this. These trucks are meant to be playful and carvy and using that barricade, you're going to take away some of this and you're going to limit the true nature of them. And I think you're seriously missing out. If you want to skate fast, if speed is your goal, then use a different set of trucks. Keep these things playful and you will thank me. And the reason these trucks are able to do all of that is because of this ball pivot. This ball pivot allows these trucks to skate in that unique way and do those unique things. But uh, some people do skate the RF1 super fast. For example, Mirko Paolini has gone 100 km per hour on these trucks. However, he does skate them with negative rake, which is the hanger flipped. And that adds a little bit of stability. But of course, I believe he's an exception to the rule. And he's fucking crazy. 100k on these trucks. What a beast. If you do get these trucks, do try to keep the pivot cup clean. I've felt that the pivot cup in these trucks tends to get quite dirty quite easily and that actually affects how the truck turns significantly. So do try to keep it clean, do clean it every now and then and keep it lubricated as well. And that's all for today's review. As always, check out the write-up for an in-depth review. Big thanks to the patrons as usual, big thanks to the subscribers. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, short and sweet, as we'll be doing from now on. And yeah, catch you all in the next one.